Hi, my name is Greg Hanley. I'm the founder and CEO of FTF Behavioral Consulting. And my name is Dr. Kelsey Ruppel, and I'm a lead consultant at FTF Behavioral Consulting. And we're going to describe a little bit about uh, who we are at FTF Behavioral, as well as go into the details uh, a bit about the balance program that Dr. Ruppel and I developed a handful of years ago. Uh, at FTF, we are a bunch of board certified behavior analysts uh, at the doctoral level, and we provide support to clinics, hospitals, uh, schools, and sometimes uh, professionals in our field who are attempting to address severe problem behavior in children through adults, uh, usually for those on the spectrum uh, or those with intellectual disabilities, but not always. And our mission is to help people develop safer, more, more humane, and more effective procedures uh, for addressing severe problem behavior. Very good. Uh, let's see, we're gonna talk about balance now. Uh, the balance program is very important to us. Although we uh, primarily uh, consult with folks and train and support them when severe problem behavior has already developed, we all also have prevention programs. Uh, and our primary prevention program is called BALANCE. And BALANCE is a program uh, that Dr. Kelsey Ruppel and I uh, developed, what has it been now, four or so years ago. And we developed it really to fill the gap for families who have a child who is just diagnosed with autism, but does not yet have full services yet. And it's within that gap that uh, it seems that problem behavior uh, tends to develop uh, for some learners. And when it does, it gets picked up uh, by the context. And once it gets picked up by the context, it requires a fair amount of professional effort uh, to help address. And so the point of the balance program is to find, uh, find those families and those children before severe problem behavior develops and then teach skills. However, there are some unique features of the balance program. Uh, the first of which is it's parent implemented. Second, it's implemented in the home. Third, the BCBA supports the parent implementation of the process, but they need not be present because it relies on video analysis that can be done at the same time, but also can be done in an asynchronous format uh, thanks to our collaborative relationship with the High Rasmus group. Um, the balance program is a 10 step skill building program. So it aims to prevent problem behavior, not by avoiding it. Okay, that's not necessarily prevention in our world, but prevention is about putting a child into progressively uh, more challenging situations while developing skills for those situations. And uh, in brief, those skills are generally communication, toleration, and cooperation. And ultimately, the balance program leads to just that, balance and the relationship between parents and their children. Said another way, we try to strike a balance between how much the child is leading and how much the parent is leading. And when we create that balance, we can usually eliminate uh, the threat of severe problem behavior and set that family up uh, for some joy, for some harmony, and also set that child up to learn all the skills uh, little folks need to learn. The balance program, uh, again, being, has, is recent, but it has a fair amount of uh, research support behind it. The BALANCE program is based on years of research into learning and behavior. Each lesson has roots in multiple peer-reviewed publications, and there's a body of research showing that teaching these skills to children with autism reduces early emerging problem behavior and improves communication, social interaction, and cooperation. To learn more, check out our list of references available on this website. Super. I guess it would be uh, a shame not to mention we do other stuff at FTF uh, other than support practitioners and families uh, implementing the balance program. Again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Dr. Rupel and I are joined by Dr. Kayamagami and Dr. Camilleri and uh, some other pre-docs and postdoctoral interns in supporting people in our PFA and SBT process. That's probably what we do the most. PFA is practical functional assessment and that's aimed to understand why someone would engage in severe problem behavior like self-injury, aggression, property destruction, and meltdowns. And then uh, once we understand, we support people in implementing skill-based treatments, 
not dissimilar than what we do in balance. However, it's in the context of an existing repertoire of severe problem behavior. But again, we're focused on teaching the skills of communication, toleration, and cooperation, and then helping professionals extend uh, those effects to other people and other relevant places and for longer uh, time periods. So again, we are a, a dissemination company. We want to disseminate humane and safe practices for addressing severe problem behavior and preventing severe problem behavior. And we also support uh, professionals and organizations in addressing sleep problems, uh, food selectivity and food refusal, uh, intractable or chronic uh, stereotypic behavior. Uh, and so uh, that is what we do. Our website is ftfbc.com. Uh, please look us up if you want help in uh, developing a clinical culture that prioritizes safety, uh, rapport, relationship building, and the televisability of what we do when we're attempting to help people who are engaging in severe problem behavior. Thank you.